Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua back with another video. So I'm asked all the time, what are some of my most effective live baiting techniques? Well, right here is in my top three. It's called the popping cork. Now, you might ask, why would you use the popping cork and why is it so effective? Well, the popping cork is super effective because you could cast long distances, you could keep your bait in a strike zone, and it also makes a ton of commotion. It has brass beads that go on the bottom, plastic beads that go on the top. Every time you pop that bait or the bait pops itself, it's making a commotion with this cork. And oftentimes what happens is these fish are curious. They want to know what is making all that commotion at the surface. So they go and inspect the cork, sometimes even biting the cork, and then they see your bait trailing right behind it. So it's super effective. Let me show you what I do to rig it. Let me show you the rod that I would typically rig it on and the reel. And uh, hopefully this will help you to put more fish in the boat. All right, so what I like to do is attach using 15 pound Power Pro, I like to attach my popping cork with an improved clinch knot. Now the way you wanna do that is go ahead and put the line through the swivel and then with braid to prevent slippage, you wanna go ahead and run it through a second time. Just like that. Now, all I do is wrap this about eight times and run it back through the loop. Go ahead and uh, hold your tag in, hold your tag in, pull that tight. That's gonna seat down right on that swivel perfectly. Then I have my popping cork. And now what I usually do is I'm gonna have 25 to 30 pound leader typically and that's gonna be two and a half to three feet, depending on the depth that I'm fishing. And usually, if I'm using shrimp, it's gonna be a 1-0, maybe a 2-0 circle hook. And that's either an owner, mustad, or gamagatsu. Uh, they're all very, very good and sharp, super strong hooks. Now, to piece that together with my outfit here, I like this little Spartan 3000. Very, very strong, durable. You guys have seen this in some of my tarpon videos. Um, this is a nice little outfit. It's a little heavier, but for my live baiting rod and reels, I usually like a heavier outfit, something with, that's got a little bit more strength, a little bit more durability, because a lot of times I'll be using this rig near trees, covers, docks, and I want to be able to horse them out, so to speak. Now, today I'm using, this is just a little Tidemaster. This is a seven foot medium power fast action, eight to 14 um, are the specifications. It's got a nice limber tip, but a strong backbone. Great for hustling those big fish out from cover. Today I'm gonna to show you about how I use the popping cork and hopefully demonstrate how we catch a fish utilizing popping cork and shrimp. So there's a multitude of ways to rig live shrimp. I'll get into that on in another episode, but today I'm just gonna be rigging it right in the horn. So you wanna make sure that you rig it to where the hook barb goes right under the horn and misses the dark matter, which is called the gaglion. It's essentially his brain. If you hook him there, he won't be much use for you. Now, make a good cast. So what I like to do, guys, is when I make my cast, depending on where I'm at, I'll let it sit for a second, and then I'll monitor what my shrimp's doing. Oftentimes, if your shrimp is being pursued, it's natural for them to jump out of the water, flick, and try to um, evade the predator. But if nothing's happening, then what I'll do is I'll pop the cork, bringing a lot of noise and a lot of attention to the shrimp. There he is. targeted species. All right, just like that. Now, the objective is to get them a little bigger. But hey, ooh, he's speaking to us. What do you got to say? Your bigger brother, he's 10 feet to the right. So you always listen to what they have to tell you. That's probably my top tip. 
Look how beautiful that fish is, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful spots, absolutely pretty little fish. I mean, beautiful. You let her go? Yep. Just like that. Hey, hey, hey. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the popping cork. Hey, if you did, please give a thumbs up, comment below, let me know, have you ever used a popping cork? What's your thoughts? I think it's a highly successful way to catch fish. Very, very simplistic rig, and it's been proven time and time again. So again, guys, if you do like it, give a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for a lot more to come, and until next time, we'll see you on the water.